Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much uh, for attending this program. G20, its meaning for India, what we hope to achieve as a country, and what we are doing and what we are learning as a process. More importantly, if we talk specifically, ekdam specific agar hum baat kare, how do you rethink fuel? And I don't think there'll be a better person to answer questions along these lines than the Union Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas and Minister for Urban Affairs, Ambassador Hardeep Singh Puri. And I insist on calling you Ambassador first. Thank you very much, Ambassador Puri. Thank you very much for having me here today. And I have no difficulty in you calling me an ambassador or whatever you like. <laughs> Certainly, I was an, I've been an ambassador longer than I've been a minister. Uh, but uh, thank you. Uh, you started with the G20 and then you fast forwarded to rethinking fuel. So I'll spend a minute or two or three, if you, if you permit, sure. to talk about G20 and then I will come to, you know, fossil fuel transition, rethinking fuel. First and foremost, I think uh, in every discussion, the context is most important. And the G20 Presidency of India came at a time when the world was fa facing multiple crises. Uh, the G20 itself was born in a moment of crisis. In 2008, when there was a world financial and economic crisis, the global institutions did not know how to deal with uh, that crisis, uh, so they elevated uh, the G20, which was a grouping at the level of finance ministers, and made it into a summit level group. And the G20 summit in London 2010 helped address that, because the IMF, World Bank, uh, the GATT or WTO could not address it. But the G20 presidency of India is taking place when the world is facing three crises. Beach mein, there wasn't that kind of turbulence. You've got three crises, fuel, food, and fertilizer. Mm. But I think the interesting thing is, India, during this period, not only now, now of course, you know, we are on the moon and over the moon, but India's figures generally are looking very, very impressive. And if you give me time later, I'd like to reel off what was the situation in 2014, and what is the situation now, nine years later, and that adds to an overall spirit of elation. Mm -hmm. How about now? We can begin now. You can tell us. Well, I can tell you, I'll be very happy. I've been doing some research in the morning before I came here. So, there are things that you know and there are things which you don't know. Um, foreign direct investment and FDI will take place when the foreign direct investor, who's a private entity, feels that there is economic opportunity. You're looking at an average of 22 billion. Today, you're looking at an average of 46 billion mm. per annum. Mutual fund investment 2013 was 100 billion, today it's 500 billion. The electrification of railways 2013 was 4,100 kilometers, today it's 28,100 kilometers. The corporate tax rate then was 33.9%, now it's down to 22%. Um, retail or RBI, CPI inflation 10% down to, in last year, not even this year, down to 4.7%. Direct benefit transfer, you know, money that you transfer to the beneficiaries of all our schemes. It's um, very interesting, from 0 0.89 billion, that's less than 1 billion, now it's 32 billion. Mm -hmm. Then I give you National Highways, uh, 2014, 25,700 kilometers, mm -hmm. 53,700 kilometers. Airport, 74, today, 100. 148. Digital transactions as a percentage of GDP. Now, this I find most impressive. Those are solar may 4.4 percent. Today, 76.1 percent. Number of IITs which we had, those are Chaudha may solar thi, those are Tais may Tais hai. Number of IMs, those are Chaudha may Tera thi, are Bis hai. Look, I can go on and on. Yeah. But the feel-good factor in India, the, where India has traveled, and that is reflected in turn in the fact that you've moved from being the 10th largest economy to the 5th largest economy. When I said a few years ago, 
that we are going to be a $5 trillion economy. Some of my friends, um, I don't know how to describe, describe them. Their friendship, I think, has never been in doubt. Their liberal wonkiness was in doubt. <laughs> yes, sir, kabhi $5 trillion, itne challenges hai. Right? Challenges to hai. Or challenges to aaj bhi hai. But today, when you talk in terms of being a, um, let's say, $10 trillion economy by 2030, no one, no one has any doubt. Or, aap aage barte, by the way, I have to reel out statistics, I have to roll out, I have to do it. Morgan Stanley. Ke hai. Aaj subay maine ek report padhi, and the preambular was, and I'll conclude with that. And forgive me, I'm not trying to say this. Not my view, Morgan Stanley's views, India's future looks like China's past. I think that sums up the growth area, the growth potential that India demonstrated um, in the last nine years and the years ahead. Um, and he's recalling China's past. I'm not saying um, China will not have a great future. Uh, I don't know. I don't study the Chinese economy in that detail. But there are fault lines there. Some sectors of that economy are under strain. The real estate sector to begin with, about which I know a little. But now I want to fast forward to fuel. Hmm. And before, before Ambassador Puri, you uh, answer questions on fuel. Uh, this point that you made on $5 trillion economy, some of your friends, since you mentioned them, unka ye bhi kehna tha ki ye to apne aap hi ho ra tha. The ah, whole ah, theory of compounding. Aja, so aapne aisa kya kiya? Aap unse ye sawal puchi, agar apne aap hi ho ra tha, aapne credit kyun nahi le liya? जब हम कह रहे थे जो मैं बात कर रहा हूं 2017-18 के बाद जब मैं मंत्रिमंडल में आया तो हम मैं ऐसी बातें करनी शुरू की थी ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता असंभव है अगर अपने आप हो रहा था ईश्वर से हमने काम किया उसके कारण हो रहा है बट यू नो आई मीन फ्रैंकली फ्रैंकली आई थिंक एवरी वन ऑफ अस व्हेन वी गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग वी कैन डिसाइड कि हाउ मच ऑफ अ फूल वी वांट टू मेक ऑफ आवरसेल्व्स दैट डे यू नो इट्स एन इन अ डेमोक्रेसी लाइक इंडिया वेयर देयर इज फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच Freedom of action, you can get up and make an outlandish statement. Mm -hmm. You must start cataloging what they've been saying. Mm -hmm. jate hai, but, but you know, this is a shoot and scoot politics. Shuru se koi beva kofi ki baat karte hai, and then when they say, yaar, ye to galat ho gaya, change the subject. But if you want me to come to fuel. Yeah, from fuel, let's come to fuel. <laughs> <laughs> good one, uh. good one. Look, this is how I keep you in front of me a proposition. Mm -hmm. Or, वो ये है कि आप मान लीजिए कि आपके पास बहुत बड़ा न्यूक्लियर आर्सेनल है उसका न्यूक्लियर आर्सेनल बाय इट सेल्फ डज नॉट ट्रांसलेट इट सेल्फ इन टू पोलिटिकल और इकोनॉमिक और ग्लोबल स्टैंडिंग बिकॉज इट इज एंटायरली कंसीवेबल दैट यू कैन हैव अ लार्ज न्यूक्लियर आर्सेनल एंड येट यू कैन हैव अ लार्ज कंट्री डिस इंटीग्रेट पॉइंट वन Point two, there are some things which are clear indicators or clear providers of how an economy is going. And I submit to you, fuel consumption is one such indicator. Why am I saying this? India's fuel consumption today, on an average, is three times the global average. How do I say that? If global, if, if there may be a pandemic, there may be slowdown, there's drop in demand. But if global growth, say, grow, demand grows by 1%, India's grows 3%. Fuel consumption is a very good indicator of the state of your economy. That's the first position. I mean. hmm. The second one, when you talk about transition or rethinking fuel, yes. what are you rethinking? You're not rethinking energy. You are rethinking clean energy. In other words, if your dependence on fossil fuel was 100%, how much is it today? All right, I give you a starting point since we are talking about my erstwhile... No, no, they are still my friends. Their political tags are a little in doubt. 2014, and I will tell you my experience. When I was in 2014, 2015, दो की बात है तीन की बात है जब मैं ब्राज़ील में छह की बात है 2006 में जब मैं ब्राज़ील गया एज इंडियाज एम्बेसडर हमने बड़ी कोशिश की कि हमारी उनके साथ कोलैबोरेशन बायोफ्यूल्स में हो तो उस समय भी मेरा ये 
मेरी पोजीशन थी और आज भी है कि आप किसी चीज को किल में सफलता अगर लाना चाहते हैं तो पहले आप जो आपकी नीति है पॉलिसी है उसको सही तरीके से लाइए सो वेन मिस्टर पवार वॉज दी आई थिंक एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर एंड यू नो ही हैज वेरी फर्म ग्राउंडिंग इन द शुगर पॉलिटिक्स एंड सो ऑन उस समय एक निर्णय लिया गया कि हमारी दस स्टेट्स और यूनियन टेरिटरीज में हम पांच प्रतिशत बायोफ्यूल्स ब्लेंडिंग करेंगे और पूरा दम लगा लिया जब हम 2014 तक पहुंचे सो आई थिंक द अमाउंट ऑफ बायोफ्यूल्स वी वर ब्लेंडिंग वाज वॉज वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट और लिटिल लेस और लिटिल मोर सो वॉट वेंट रॉन्ग इन दोज इयर्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टू टू थाउजेंड and what went right after 2014 onwards well i'll fast forward we were less than we were around 1.5% in 2014 today we are blending i think 12% or there about yeah 11.7% to be precise 11.7% uh, is what we are doing now we have a 12% target i think till the end of the year mm -hmm. so we are on that 12% uh, thing mm -hmm. but there's another target and that target is that we wanted to do 20% blending by 2030 mm. and the honorable prime minister has brought that forward to 2025 acha main aapko ek figure deta hu jab humne 10% blending ki aur ye 10% blending ka hamara target tha november 2022 tak aur humne 5 mahine target date se pehle kar li jab humne 10% blending ki to hamari saving on the import bill वॉज इकतालीस हजार करोड़ और इकतालीस हजार करोड़ जो हमने बचाया हमने बयालीस हजार करोड़ अपने फार्मर्स को दिया अगर हम बीस परसेंट ब्लेंडिंग करते हैं विच इज राउंड द कॉर्नर सो वॉट विल बी दी सेविंग ऑन दिस थिंग यू कैन कैलकुलेट बेस्ड ऑन देन प्रिवेलिंग इंटरनेशनल प्राइस बट दैट्स नॉट माई पॉइंट इट्स नॉट द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी योर सेविंग please look at the boost that agriculture receives as a result of biofuel so you are meeting you are rethinking fuel you are also providing a boost to your agriculture hmm. and now i want to go for forward because i'm sure you don't want to take all the time on fuels but but before we move beyond fuels ek sawal ye jo blending ki aap baat kar rahe hain usi se judi hui hai for a lay person who's driving his car उसका पहले आपने बताया 1.53 परसेंट ब्लेंड नहीं थी मतलब पेट्रोल में इतना इथेनॉल वो बढ़ा करके 11.7 परसेंट कर दिया नाउ यू हैव सेट अ टारगेट ऑफ 20 बाय 2025 दिस विल आल्सो हैपन एक कंसर्न ये आता है कि मेरी गाड़ी में पेट्रोल की जगह ये मिक्स क्या चीज आ रही है एंड इज इट सेफ देखिए टेक्निकल स्टडीज हैड शोन कि आपकी अगर बायोफ्यूल ब्लेंडिंग 20 प्रतिशत होती है तो आपको गाड़ी के इंजन में कोई पार्ट्स में कोई बदलाव करने की जरूरत नहीं है उसमें कोई कोरोजन ज्यादा नहीं होगी कुछ ऐसा नहीं दिस वॉज द कन्वेंशनल थिंकिंग एंड आई मेक दिस सबमिशन टू यू उस थिंकिंग के कारण हमारा माइंड सेट भी वो बीस परसेंट पे रुक गया जब मैं नया नया पेट्रोलियम और नेचुरल गैस विभाग से जुड़ा बात कर रहा हूँ मैं जुलाई 2021 में तो मुझसे एक बहुत सीनियर हमारे कोलीग उनसे पूछा ये आप 20 परसेंट पर क्यों रुके हुए हैं तो मैंने एक्सप्लेनेशन ये दिया कि ये टेक्निकली ऑटोमोबाइल एसोसिएशन क्या नाम है सियाम सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडियन ऑटोमोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चर दे आर यूज टू इंजन विच आर डूइंग वेरी वेल दे आर ऑल गॉड ब्लेस दम मेकिंग इनफ मनी तो उनसे बात हुई तो उन्होंने कहा कि अच्छा 20 परसेंट तक तो चल जाएगा पर उसके आगे नहीं तो मैंने उनसे कहा जब मैं ब्राज़ील में पोस्टेड था मैं राजदूत था ब्राज़ील में तो उस समय ब्राज़ील में तो आप पेट्रोल पंप में जाके और डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्राइस ऑफ पेट्रोल एंड एथेनॉल इन अ डे और ऑन बोर्ड यू कैन टेक अ डिसीजन अगर मान लीजिए पेट्रोल का दाम नीचे हो आप तय करिए कि आप सौ पेट्रोल डलवा लेते हैं अगर उसका एथेनॉल का दाम बहुत कम है तो आप 100% परसेंट एथेनॉल दिलवा लेती है बट दो आर मैन्युफैक्चर टू दो स्पेसिफिकेशन हमने जब इस पे एक्सपेरिमेंट किया 
तो हमें एक बिल्कुल क्लियर था कि 20 परसेंट तक कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तो हमने शायद अप्रैल इस साल इफ आई मेमोरी सर्ज मी राइट वी स्टार्टेड इंट्रोड्यूसिंग व्हाट इज कॉल्ड ई ट्वेंटी और ई ट्वेंटी इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ब्लेंडेड फ्यूल एंड इफ मेमोरी सर्ज मी राइट द लेटेस्ट फिगर आई सो इज की दो पंप्स हैं जहां पर ई ट्वेंटी बिक रहा है hmm. अच्छा आप ये देखिए कि इसमें मैंने आई वॉज गिव यू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ माई सीनियर कॉलिग को क्वेश्चन भी मैंने कहा इसका रीजन ये था पर मेरी चिंता कुछ और है मेरी चिंता ये थी उस समय कि हम मान लीजिए 20 परसेंट से ज्यादा टारगेट रख देते हैं डू वी हैव द रिसिलियंस इन द सिस्टम टू इंश्योर द अमाउंट ऑफ एथेनॉल रिक्वायर्ड एंड वी डाइवर्सिफाइड द फीड हम अभी मक्का से भी बनवाते हैं हम फ्रॉम शुगर From bamboo, second generation. We are also making it from agricultural waste, from parali. Hmm. Will we be able to get that? Today, I can tell you with confidence that two things have happened. One, hmm. to, I have taken a. I took a small step, but I think it had its impact. I invited the Brazilian, my Brazilian counterpart, and I have asked them to request that you bring your own automobile manufacturers in with a delegation. और ऑटोमोबाइल जो मैन्युफैक्चरर्स हैं ब्राज़ील में कंपनीज तो वही हैं वही जर्मन कंपनीज हैं वही जापानी कंपनी है तो मैं तो बड़ी खुशी हुई बिकॉज जब वो यहाँ आए अगर वही ब्राज़ील में चल सकती है 20 परसेंट से ज्यादा वाली एथेनॉल वाली गाड़ी तो यहाँ क्यों नहीं चल सकती मैनुफैक्चर तो वही है इट्स नॉट एज इफ इट्स डिफरेंट मैनुफैक्चर एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू इन्फॉर्म यू That I am very clear that the kind of cars which are coming in here now are mm. called E85. मतलब they will be able to take biofuels up to 85 percent. Oh wow! So mm. we have overcome that. Mm. Mm. Second, mm. we have not stopped at this. We are now looking at the green hydrogen. First, let me go to compressed biogas, com natural gas. Sure. I I'm very happy when uh, when we were walking in whoever was your master of ceremonies was describing me as the minister of petroleum and gas I said I like the second part the <laughs> but no it's natural gas there's a difference between natural gas and, and liquefied petroleum gas let me give you what the difference is hmm. liquefied petroleum gas which is a pure cooking medium hmm. that is what my OMCs have to sometimes carry on their shoulders when there are torrential rains and deliver natural gas is and natural gas is used in automobiles it's used in the industrial sector it's used in a variety now liquefied liquefied petroleum gas is made from crude oil hmm. the other one comes out so what are we doing we are increasing the percentage of gas in our fuel mix from 6% to 15% we are well on the way mm. and it's going to cost about an investment of 60 billion dollars is taking place we have just now if memory serves me right other than my young friend will correct me we have about seven liquefying stations you see gas is not transported across the sea you come in liquid form it comes to the port of um, um, arrival there it is gasified then it comes through a pipeline so what have we done on the pipeline that's very important mm. 2014 mein hamari total pipeline jo desh mein thi 14500 km thi hamara target hai 33000 km se zyada aaj with great pride i tell you the country has already achieved about 23000 km and we will take it from 23000 km to 33000 km so natural gas usage in the economy will go up mm. when i meet with my explorers i had uh, a delegation from outside uh, last night i had i took a review of our this thing we are our i think gas product uh, production in the last two years gone up by 18 20% mm. so we are trying to increase gas domestic production unlike crude oil where we are dependent on imports to about 80% or so mm. in the case of natural gas natural gas we are 50% or so hmm. now lekin amazda puri uh, natural gas ke liye for instance let's talk about uh, its use as a piped natural gas it requires infrastructure main agar chahu bhi istemal karna agar mere ghar tak pipe nahi aa rahi hai so that may be a problem i'll no. have to depend on lpg so in terms of that penetration are we 
अगर आप लीजिए पाइप यहां से ले जाते हैं किसी अर्बन सेंटर में और वहां पर एक हाई राइज बिल्डिंग है वहां तो बड़ा आसान है एक कनेक्शन दो और तीन सौ कंज्यूमर सेटिस्फाई हो गए पर जहां आपकी जनसंख्या जो है वो डिस्पर्स्ड है जहां आपकी पॉपुलेशन जो है वो एक घर है और अगला वाला चार किलोमीटर दूर है छह किलोमीटर दूर है तो कुछ वो उसमें देरी हो रही है बट आई थिंक द फिगर्स आर वेरी इंप्रेसिव आई थिंक जियोग्राफिकली वी ऑलरेडी कवर नाइनटी एट परसेंट ऑफ द एरिया बट आई थिंक द मोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज आई नीड टू गेट द सी एन जी there because it's much cheaper than liquefied petroleum gas mm. so rest assured i'm fighting all the time uh with the fighting not individuals fighting mm. the bottlenecks mm. because you've laid out a cgd pipeline you've laid, laid down other thing but things believe me the progress is fantastic mm. by the way mm. all the connections are going up jo mm. lpg connection the wo 2014 mein shayad 14 crore the wo aaj 33 crore hai और इसमें भी सीएनजी 25 लाख थे वो एक करोड़ से ऊपर आ गए पर माय आइडिया इज टू इंक्रीज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ यूजर्स मच मोर करेक्ट सो यू विल हैव अ सिचुएशन वेयर पीपल विल हैव द पाइप गैस कमिंग इन दे विल आल्सो होपफुली बाय माय सोलर कुकर डू अदर थिंग्स सो योर रीथिंकिंग फ्यूल बट वी डोंट स्टॉप हियर बट आई थिंक द फ्यूल ऑफ द फ्यूचर रियली इज ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन ये मान के चलिए फॉसिल फ्यूल तो इतना सा जितना भी है आज से 10, 15, 20 साल के बाद पीपल विल जस्ट नॉट वांट टू यूज इट व्हाई? बिकॉज ऑल्टरनेट्स विल बी अवेलेबल व्हाट डज ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन रिक्वायर ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन रिक्वायर्स टू थिंग्स वन इज अ कैपेसिटी कि आप ग्रीन एनर्जी जो सोलर एनर्जी है उसको और हमने ये डेमोन्स्ट्रेट किया पहले पच्चीस सेंट पर यूनिट थी आज हम उसको गिरा गिरवा के तीन सेंट पर यूनिट पर ले आए हैं और यू नीड इलेक्ट्रोलाइजर्स and today i can tell you that we have within the country every possible conceivable electrolyzer manufacturer in the world is tied up here why because green hydrogen will succeed where you have domestic demand you have domestic production and domestic consumption iske main again i am not trying to criticize anyone green hydrogen will succeed in india but if you tell me that you can make green hydrogen in some desert 10000 kilometers away and then transport it no a gas does not lend itself to transportation i mean you can but it's a very costly business what you can transport and export which indian companies are doing now is green ammonia so today green hydrogen ab agle kuch dino mein i'm looking at um, different possibilities the fuel cell now you've got cars which are coming in very st- strong Uh, roll out of electric vehicles you've got cars which are coming in which are in hybrid mode mm. those which are using the fuel cell one of my companies has been um, iocl has been after me ke ek wo badi hydrogen bus hai us pe karna chahiye mm. dekhiye isme koi sequentiality nahi hogi ke aaj tak hum ye use karenge agle din ye sab ikattha chalega mm. but i think by the time we reach 2025 we'll have a very interesting situation mm. 2025 mein 20 pratishat biofuel blending mm-hmm. hogi we would have sh- shed our inhibition and i call it an inhibition mm-hmm. ki because if e85 vehicles are slowly beginning to come in mm-hmm. then you will do more biofuel plus now i get pressure from all the feed providers by feed providers are maize a lot of people say sir aap maize aur khareediye aap sugar cane aur khareediye so it's adding to the agricultural mm-hmm. momentum mm-hmm. and then when you do this the cng increases number of cars on cng when the cng prices went up i was very worried i said i hope the automobile manufacturers don't hold back but no they are quite happy in now rolling out more and more cng cars mm. so i think in many ways india represents and that is a real india story mm. chandrayaan on the moon over the moon mm. complete transformation in terms of the automobile and we are one of the largest automobile manufacturers in the Correct. world and on top of that you take this fuel because rethinking mm. fuel is not mm. just personal automobile yeah. you look at your urban transport system mm. our metro system is going to be the second largest in the world after china overtaking the us mm. but more than that the prime minister just um, 
approved uh, how many 10,000 electric buses uh, for city operations. So, I mean, when Mr. Kedriwal um, matures from his ravery politics into mature politics, he will discuss that um, instead of cannibalizing the old fleet, it's better to accelerate the electric mm. vehicles coming in mm. uh, based on a, an agreed, transparent, and predictable method mm. of funding and operation. Mm. Ambassador Puri, this point that you made about uh, green hydrogen being the future fuel, uh, mass acceptability wo readily available hona chahiye uska ek infrastructure taiyar hona chahiye iski pipeline ke bare mein aap kya bata sakte hain mujhe aapka jo mass acceptability and that uh, benefits to the fathers first i love that because that's what our operating philosophy is dekhiye ye samay samay ki baat hoti hai jab gas cylinder shuru hua main baat kar raha hu mere apne uh, childhood and i'm very old so it must have been many years ago wo gas cylinder milne mein aise lagta tha ki but if you, have a lot of things to do if you manage to get a gas cylinder. Why? Because our mothers and sisters were spared the toxicity which comes in a kitchen. Okay? Because they were using um, wet uh, wood, they were using coal. I remember when I was a child, my grandmother used to use a koele ki angiti and you know, the, with a, used to fuel it by usme hawa mein choti si opening hoti thi. Usme koela padta tha, aska bhi ho gila hota tha and whole. Yeah. A small place we lived in was completely housing. Um, you move from there, today a gas cylinder, the baki to chodi hai, Ujwala scheme mein amne 9 crore 60 lakh gas cylinder de diya. So acceptability and to the farthest first, I think Ujwala is a scheme which showed it. Jab Mahamari ke dauran, jab lockdown tha, to hamne teen cylinder free diye, to every beneficiary. And this is where it goes to the below the poverty line, economically weaker section. If 9.6 crore um, cylinders has to increase to 10 crores, if there's demand, we'll do it. So the person who is the most vulnerable is the highest priority. So mm. I come to that. Mm. So you start with that. Secondly, insofar as fuel is concerned, please note that today, 70% of our traffic on the roads, vehicular traffic is of two wheelers and three wheelers. That's mm. where the common man comes in. Mm. And they are using battery uh, operated. Mm. But the cost of all these fuels, whether it's ethanol made from different feeds like uh, second generation bamboo, third generation gases, mm. or second generation uh, agricultural waste, the cost keeps coming down, but you have to scale up. I think green hydrogen is precisely one such case. Mm. Once the cost of electrolyzers mm. that do domestically manufactured, because then you need what? You need um, sunshine, you need water, and you need an electrolyzer, because solar ka cost niche le hai. Mm. And the success will come from our refineries. Abhi hamari gyara refineries hai ek company ki. Already two they are doing, and I'm coaxing you one of these days, we'll get him to announce it, he's using a, um, another two for this thing. Once that comes, cost comes down. Mm. But I still think you have to go through the progression, through batteries, for, because 70% is that, Correct. two wheelers and three wheeler. Mm. Then you go to four wheelers, then you go from existing fuels to cleaner fuels, all that is happening simultaneously. So that transitioning, I understand that point you made, but uh, uh, I'm sure you must be having some sort of a blueprint or an idea or a timeline uh, to which uh, you would successfully tell yourself that, okay, now, I, I, in 2023, in a hall, I had said that this is the fuel of the future. This is what I think. This, by this time, it will be the fuel. See, I'll tell you, much of this is about what is called the popular narrative. When we were माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी जब देश को संबोधित कर रहे थे लाल किले से तो उन्होंने तब कहा था कि we are going to take up green hydrogen in mission mode all right hmm. many smart and enlightened and, uh, anchors after that asked me क्या हो रहा है अभी तक कुछ हुआ नहीं कभी देखिए एक कंट्री की ट्रांजिशन करवानी एक पॉइंट से दूसरे पॉइंट तक you need to have your ecosystems right so what were the ecosystems that he did when the PM says 
something from the red fort take it he means it and he'll get it done especially this pm mm. unhone 2014 15 august ko jab sambodhit kiya tha he said the greatest tribute we can pay to the father of the nation when we celebrate his 150th birth anniversary is to make india open defecation free 2014 mein kara ho gaya 2019 mein ek state nahi hui but wo bhi ho gayi ab to ye policy pronouncements and ecosystem transformation two steps i tell you ek cabinet decision hua i think it was fantastic ki 17000 crore shayad hamari jo pli scheme hai productivity linked incentive scheme usme electrolyzer manufacturer was included and it worked now you have as i said just about every i'm not saying they're all drawing from the pli scheme they are coming here because they see economic potential and they see the i'll be very frank ability mm. to make money mm. also foreign investor they are not going to come out of philanthropy or altruism they will come because there's an economic opportunity mm. then there was another decision taken whereby specific responsibilities were given okay, what can the steel sector do what can we do so i think we've got the basics in right hmm. i tend to make statements more on the cautionary side i have now seen one economic entity has brought in what 32 billion dollars of investment from other places why are they investing in india because they think india is a place where green hydrogen research manufacture will take place and ultimately india will be a staging point for the other hmm. you know the most important question you have to answer is till when will fossil fuels be a viable competitive thing and that's the most important because if we go at the current level you got two competing global trends one is those who say fossil fuels ko ekdam khatam karo bhai agar aap fossil fuels ko khatam karna chahte ho and you want only green energy then you must make the investment in the green energy mm. because there's no point telling a guy who can buy a, a, a liter of petrol for say 85 rupees in a bjp ruled state and 108 in a non bjp ruled state ki aap ye mat khareediye aap green hydrogen because uh, where the corresponding cost is twice so it the two processes will take place simultaneously and my uh, answer to your question is this will happen sooner than later fantastic <laughs> now my uh, next question and uh, we are coming to the close of this session uh, you see uh, whatever fuel we use there is a concern of pollution and its impact on climate change right that is always a driving force when i'm sure you must be deciding something or thinking about something uh, ये आर्गुमेंट कई बार हमने देखा है अलग अलग इंटरनेशनल फोरम्स पे भी देखा है कि uh, जो डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज हैं दोज हु आर पार्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल साउथ दे आर टोल्ड कि अब आप पोल्यूशन कम कीजिए आप इसके बारे में जरा सोचिए ध्यान दीजिए एंड दिस इज बीइंग सेड बाय कंट्रीज हु हैव ऑलरेडी हैड देयर फेयर शेयर ऑफ पोल्यूशन हैव प्रोग्रेस्ड एंड दे शुड बी वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट द प्रोग्रेस दे मेड बट द आर्ग्यूमेंट इज दैट इट्स अ बिट रिच ऑन देयर पार्ट टू सजेस्ट टू द डिवेलपिंग वर्ल्ड दैट यू कंटेन योर ग्रोथ uh whereas you know we have had our share dekhiye how ye, do you look at this no no i if i were not in this distinguished gathering i would give you some uh, inner thoughts but i'll spare you those now <laughs> you see it's very easy that you can go around polluting the world and then you provide prescriptions to the others mananiya pradhan mantri ji ki ne unka daitva sambhalne se pehle uh थोड़ा हमारी पॉलिसी में भी कंफ्यूजन था और मुझे याद है जब डॉक्टर साहब प्रधानमंत्री थे तो मैं आई वाज अ सीनियर सिविल सर्वेंट तो बहुत बार क्लाइमेट चेंज कॉन्टेक्स्ट में ये सवाल उठाया जाता था कि वेयर इज इंडिया व्हाट इज इंडिया पोजीशन सो आई रिमेंबर वन ऑफ अस चिकली सेइंग सर आर वी पार्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम और आर वी पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सो ऑब्वियसली डॉक्टर साहब वेरी मेजर्ड इन इज वर्ड वुड सेट तो फिर वन ऑफ आस क्विप सिंह इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम तो आप ना एक नेगोशिएटर का नाम दें उनको आगे कर दो अगर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन तो किस दूसरे को कर दो बट दिस काइंड ऑफ जिग जैगिंग वेंट ऑन टिल आई थिंक कॉप ट्वेंटी वन जब कॉप ट्वेंटी वन की मीटिंग पैरिस में हुई थी आई थिंक आप प्राइम मिनिस्टर टुक ए डिसाइसिव स्टेप एंड अ वेरी बोल्ड स्टेप इसे म्यूचुअल रिक्रिमिनेशन तो चलता रहेगा 
कि ये ये पोल्यूशन कर रहे हैं ये कर रहे हैं पोल्यूशन ये कर रहे हैं अरे भाई तो कोई आपसे पूछेगा आप भी तो पोल्यूशन कर रहे हैं कहीं नहीं पर मेरी पर कैपिटा एमिशन जो है इनसे वन टेंथ है इज दैट एन आर्ग्यूमेंट फॉर यू टू गो ऑन थिंग सो आई थिंक द पी एम टू वेरी मच्योर बोल्ड स्टेप सेंग वी कैन गो ऑन talking about common but differentiated responsibility we can go on reminding them that they are the polluters but meanwhile we've got to take action and he took the action he said we will take action on our own because we have to save our own i mean the the state of the country which you hand to your children or the next generation cannot be progressively getting worse from what you inherited hmm. so he took that decision and even on that uh, 2070 uh, uh, जो कमिटमेंट थी नेट जीरो की मुझे याद है uh, माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी बिफोर ही टुक ऑफ फ्रॉम डेली देव स्टॉक इज एन नहीं नहीं इंडिया कान डू दिस ये यूएस एनवॉय uh, हैं क्या नाम है उनका जो पुराने जॉन कैरी उसके पहले एल गोर भी आए थे मुझे याद है तो बातचीत हो रही थी वो सब कह रहे थे इन इंडिया शुड डू समथिंग आई डोंट नो वॉट द ब्यूरोक्रेसी इज एडवाइज टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वॉस्ट but i think somewhere in the flight between wherever he was taking off for from and glasgow pm made up his mind hmm. that he will any announced in net zero usse kya effect hua hamari jo oil companies hain uh, i don't think they are here today unse <laughs> pucha jaye koi kehti hai meri 2035 net zero commitment hai koi kehta hai 2040 hai you see once the boss gives you the target hmm. and once he says karna hai then it happens hmm. and then we've got all kinds of other commitments 2030 tak ye karna hai itna percentage wo karna hai etc so this is now part of what i call an active part of our consciousness and this is now going to bind us so whether it is um, biofuels compressed biogas cng hmm. green hydrogen how green is green i'll tell you very frankly hmm. i don't get that excited about electric vehicles because my point is if the grid is not green yet hmm. i'm glad an electric vehicle emits less pollution than let's say a normal other vehicle yeah but how are you making electricity no basically this hmm. is i'm coming so the whole grid is changing hmm. so, so a lot of people will tell you i mean i've had uh, a global experts come and tell me you know minister you should you know, we are very impressed with your blue hydro uh, green hydrogen but don't make it exclusively green because there is a blue stage there where it is much better than now if not totally uh, green so i think the indian story is a sui generis one it's unique because the kind of challenges you've got you've got to feed and as you keep reminding me the people who are most vulnerable we've got to get to them we to make sure they are moving they have moved by the way as part of that we also have an active discourage the use of kerosene policy hmm. and the uh, discourage the use of kerosene means physically we are now bringing it we are reducing it hmm. i get a lot of flack from some of the states which want higher kerosene quotas for a variety of hmm. reasons but uh, it's moving even in varanasi we converted all the uh, kerosene pa powered boats into cng boats uh, during the um, i think india energy week or thereabouts yeah Ambassador Puri thank you so much for your time thank, thank you thank you thank you